Okay, so for this one, it says that you are given following as a 20 year with a 10 year uh, $1,000 face amount. The one has an annual coupon rate of R, payable to my annual is redeemable at par. Okay, not all real rates have my own 7.2, and the amount of cumulation of discount in the seventh coupon pay is 4.20. 4.36. Okay, this seems like we have to do a bond pricing formula intertwined with subtracting two different book values to set it to equal to this amount of discount so we could find the coupon rate. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to take, well, what is occurring at the seventh coupon, right? Well, when does the seventh coupon occur? I'll do, okay, well, the seventh coupon would, well, let's see. Uh, everything is semi-annually, right? So 20 times 2, 40 payments in all, right? So, um, now, okay. So if the seventh coupon, so what time does the seventh coupon occur? Well, I would do 40 minus 7, and I'll get 33, right? So that means that I could take the face amount of 1,000 uh, times, uh, annual coupon rate of semi-annual A to 37 to the 7.2 divided by 2, 3.6 percent plus a thousand of redeemable bar rate right, to 37, right? Now let's solve this. I could uh, simplify 500R. Mm -hmm. 500R. Um, I could solve this part, right? I'm gonna do one as the payment, uh, 37 as the number of years. It says the interest rate zero and Future value, compute present value, it's going to be 20.27, right? So I'll do 4 500 times 20.27, and I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get, well, thirty-seven. Oh, wait, sorry. I don't know why I put 37. It's because I'm talking about some coupon. I'm supposed to do 40 minus 7, which is 33. I'm sorry about that. So, uh, excuse me. So, I'm going to solve this. Thing. So, I'm going to do 1 as the payment, 33 as the number of years, 3.6 as the interest rate, 0 as the future value, compute present value. It's going to be 19.13. So, 19.13. 13 times 500, I get 9565R plus well, 1,000 times uh, 1.036 to the negative 33, uh, 311.26, right? So that's the book value for the seventh coupon payment. Now we want to find it for the sixth coupon payment. One pie, right? So we're going to do 40 minus 6. So it occurs at time 40, 34, right? So we're going to replace this with 34 payments, right? And we solve. So I'm going to do 1 as the payment, uh, 34 as the number of years, 3.6 as the interest rate, 0 as the future value, compute present value, it's going to be 19.43. 19.43 times our 500, so it's going to be 9715R, then it's going to be 1000, uh, 1.036, uh, so that, and we get plus 300.447. Now I'm going to subtract both value, book values, and we're going to do 9565 minus 9715, and get negative 150. Now I'm going to do 
3.1126 minus 300. And you get plus uh, 10.813. Right? Alright, this is the R. Now I'm going to set this equal to the discount of 4.36. Then we do 4.36 minus 10.813. And then I'm going to And we're going to get 0 0.04302, which would mean that the answer would be 4.3%, which is C.